Okay, as you approach the boat, you want to take a long look and just see what you see from a distance, see if anything catches your, your eye. In close quarters like this, it can be difficult sometimes to step back and get a good look. Just check carefully along the waterline. Look for any scrapes you might see in the hull. Any gouges or dings that might be here. Oh, there's a little scuff action right there. If you look close and put your fingers to it, see this is actually scraped a little bit into the gel coat. It's probably happened during a docking maneuver. The boat is in charter, so it is not, unfortunately, it's not unexpected to have damage like this to the hull from lesser experienced operators. Take a good look around. This is a good time also to look at your underwater appendages, the rudder, the prop. Note the zincs and how much wear there is on them. In any event, you should always replace the zincs every year because you just don't know how much electrolysis you're going to get each year. And now you're going to walk down the other side and take a look at what you got here. All right, do be mindful of the jack stands under your feet because you can trip very easily. See, here's some more scrapes. And here's a really good gouge in the hole right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. From the, uh, there it is. See that? And then here's another one up here. Again, likely happened during a docking maneuver. And just keep walking around, taking note of everything. Trips. <laughs> and that's it. Now today we're here to do some sanding and scraping on the hull to prep for paint. So it's time to get set up for that. <laughs>